hello there my beautiful bougie friend my name is val welcome to my channel and today i'm going to be teaching you guys how i do the set on my hands and not only that i'm also going to be teaching you guys how i do my press on toes as well that's right my beautiful bougie friends i'm going to teach y'all how to get right for the summertime because we all know we can't go back into the streets looking like this honey everything is opening up <laughs> we have to look extra af we gotta catch a man baby or a lady whatever honey i'm down for both let go all right you guys if you guys want to know how i do this beautiful extra gorgeous set stick around well all right bougie friend let's get started so i have already started with some prepped nails if you guys are curious as to how i prep my press on nails i will be linking some videos in the description box below on how i do them in more detail but i take a file and i shape them to my desired shape i like to make mine extra extra pointy and i don't really recommend this file you guys it's a little too rough and it leaves like texture on the sides so i take a buffing a buffing block and um, i buff the tops of my nails and it leaves a matte like this as you guys could see and then i after I'm done with that, I take some rubbing alcohol and I clean the tops of my nails so that I can remove all the dust and all the other stuff. Well, today I want to work with these really cool Playboy Bunny confettis that I got from AliExpress. And I also want to see if the stickers that I made with my Cricut machine, y'all. Ooh, she got money. JK, I saved for like a year and then it was on sale. But yeah, I, have, I just recently bought a Cricut and I made these stickers, you guys. And I want to see if they work and if they stick as well as the ones that I got from aliexpress because these are the ones that i usually buy from ali i really really love these you guys they're really easy to stick on and they're such a good size for somebody like me with teeny tiny little fingers however i use a lot of old english so hopefully this little cricket machine will help me save some money well all right you guys let's get started so we're going to put down a, a little protective area so we don't get our little workspace dirty and we're going to take our press on nails and we're going to begin to paint them so i am going to to, oh never mind i guess we're not gonna paint them i guess we're gonna clean them with rubbing alcohol before we paint them you guys and now we're going to paint them <laughs> So this is First Kiss by Orally Gel FX. I got it from Amazon and I will be linking it down in the description box below. So when I paint my nails, I paint them like this. I just give them a thin coat. And then once I'm done painting all of my nails, I am going to be putting it in my UV lamp for 60 seconds. And once the 60 seconds are done, I take it out and then I put another coat and I just keep repeating the process. And I'm going to be doing this process until I get the um the opaqueness is that the word opaqueness that i want and i did three coats and it's really pretty a little peachy nude you guys Okay guys, so this is what our nails should look like after three coats. It's really pretty and I love it. And now I'm going to go ahead with my favorite Beetle Snow Wipe Top Coat. And I'm going to be adding a nice thick layer on top of these press-on nails. And then I'm going to stick them in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. Unfortunately, I stuck them a little bit too deep in the UV lamp and it hit the corner. And now it looks a little ugly, but it's okay. So let's continue and let's get some glue brushes. And let's get our crystals. These are the crystals that I use to decorate my nails. They're all from Amazon and I will be linking them down in the description box below. However, this one's my all-time favorite crystal kit, you guys, because it comes with so much cool stuff, and I feel like this is perfect for somebody who's trying to learn how to um, bedazzle their nails. And it also comes with these little round crystals as well, which is really cool. So, all right, you guys, let's get our wax pen, and let's get our tweezers, and let's get our Mia Secret crystal gel glue and if you guys want a cheaper alternative to this glue i definitely recommend the mia secret gel nail resin it doesn't cure under uv lamp but it does have a gel nail resin activator which freezes the crystals in place you guys you don't need a uv lamp for this glue well anyways you guys let's begin so i'm going to be taking this nail and i'm not going to begin bedazzling yet um i'm actually going to be doing a little tiny design with my orally gel fx color in the color liquid vinyl and i'm just gonna be essentially drawing like little hairs like on the tip of my cone head nail and i don't know what is this called like a little french tip i don't know but i'm gonna be drawing these little lines like these little anti lines right here i think this could be considered like a anti french tip border because i'm not gonna make it too thick and i'm not gonna make it too skinny 
and i'm just going to be drawing these thin lines on the side as you guys could see here and i'm going to make them kind of semi thick and if you mess up you guys you guys could use a little brush to clean up your edges but i suggest that you guys don't use too much water because it'll ruin the gel i don't know i think it'll cure funny i think if you mix it with water i'm assuming i'm not a professional at this but don't be mixing chemicals well anyways once i'm happy with it and i have cleaned it up to my desired little design i'm going to be putting it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and when we take it out we are going to be doing another layer of the black vinyl color and once we are done doing the second layer we are going to be putting it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and when we take it out of the uv lamp this is what it should look like and then we're going to go over it with my favorite beetles no wipe top it off top coat and we are going to be putting them in the uv lamp after we paint them and then we're going to begin with our playboy bunny design so i'm going to get my crystal gel glue and i'm going to get the little nails that i want to design and i'm going to get my bunnies and the reason why i attach my bunnies with the crystal glue is because the bunnies are really stiff and the little bunny doesn't bend to the shape of my nail so what i do is i take my brush and i take a little glob of glue and i build a little mountain on the nail and then i take my wax pen and i just press my bunny into the glue but i don't let the glue encapsulate the bunny completely and what you do is you flatten the edges as much as you can so it's not a visible mountain on your nails and it's gonna look bumpy at first but put it aside for like maybe like a minute or so and it'll flatten down eventually you guys as you guys can see this is what it looks like right now and this is what it looks like after sitting for like a while and so once they look like this nice and flat or at least flat enough we're going to be taking our top coat and we're just going to add a nice little glob so that everything looks nice and even and we're going to put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and this is what they should look like you guys they look super cute and they look encapsulated and it looks real freaking acrylic like and so now we're going to get our crystals you guys and i'm going to really bedazzle these nails so i'm going to be taking my crystal gel and i'm going to be adding a nice thick glob on the areas that i want to apply crystals and i'm just going to be pressing my crystals into the glue you guys so that the glue surrounds the crystals and this is the design that i came up with it was so freaking amazing this is my favorite bedazzle i've ever done you guys it's so freaking gorgeous and now i'm going to be doing a little design that i saw off of jenny Bowie's instagram page i saw it the other day when i was doing some research on how to stone my nails the from last week's video and what i ended up doing here is i created a little french tip but with crystals only so just the tip of crystals i covered completely in stones like a low french tip and it looks so freaking cute you guys this is the end result so after this i'm going to stick it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and now i'm going to work on my next nails and for these ones i'm going to be using the stickers that i made on my cricut and what i did is i just peeled them off like this and then i just placed them on top of my nail and afterwards i would pat them down and this is what they should look like when they're done so on the last one i kind of messed up you guys but what i really like about it is that i was able to push it around with my tweezers and fix it it looks decent <laughs> well all right you guys i'm going to be doing the other hand and this one says since so since 1993 y'all and after this i'm going to be going over them with a nice thick juicy layer of top coat to seal the design in and i'm going to be setting it for 60 seconds so i was originally going to leave them like this but i kind of thought to myself hmm i think it needs a little bit more bling so i added a little bit more bling on the pinky and the thumb and this is what our set should look like after we are done and i ended up doing my other hand off camera you guys i really love them you guys however i do see a little bit of a boo-boo underneath our little crystal french tip nail i got a little bit of black on the pink but their set is for me so i don't really care all right you guys so i'm going to be beginning the toes now and the toes have already been prepped so i'm going to begin painting them and i painted them the same way that i painted the other ones it took three coats to get the desired color that i wanted and once i got the desired color that i wanted i went over them with the black just on the tips and i just created a semi thick line across my big toe and then across the little ones i just made a really thin line just on the tips like these and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to be doing the other toes and i'm going to be painting them the same exact way that i painted the other ones and we're going to put them in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and then when we take them out we're going to be going over them again 
and this is what they should look like you guys and by the way please put on clear top coat i forgot about that <laughs> so just know put on top coat for 60 seconds and now i'm going to bedazzle them and i'm going to be adding the bunny at the same time too Okay, you guys, so this is what our set should look like after we bedazzle them. And now we're going to go over them with a clear coat because we need to set over the bunny. And then also I wanted to paint the rest of the toes as well so I could give them a nice, thick, clear, shiny acrylic look to them. And this is what our set is looking like afterwards, you guys. They look so extra and they look so bougie just the way we like it. wow i'm feeling extra smashy y'all don't mind that brown dot on my toe and the heels mess up my feet but look Ooh. yes baby so freaking pretty i am obsessed with this set i think this is the best set that i've ever created well all right you guys let me know what you guys think about this set and then also if you guys try to recreate it please tag me add me on instagram you guys and show me your nails i love it when you guys show me your nails i love it when i see you guys recreate stuff or when i see you guys create things on your own and i love it when you guys send me your press on nail shops too i love seeing them i really appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart thank you guys for watching like honestly i really do i have a couple videos coming up i have some pre-filmed ones and don't worry i still haven't forgotten about the clear ones i still need to put everyone's name in a box i still need to shake it up and i need to pull out a name don't worry y'all i don't forget it's just that editing takes a really long time i'm really slow and i'm very i'm not very technologically savvy or however you technologically savvy exactly see you know i graduated college but sometimes i don't know how the heck i did that well anyways you guys i will see you in the next one bye Mwah.